guys and welcome back to a, another vlog. Today's vlog is another training vlog and we are taking Errol and Tiny to an arena hire. So I haven't been out with Errol since oh, for like four months I think. He had a few weeks break when I went on my honeymoon and he hasn't been out jumping anywhere. So this will be interesting hopefully he's not too spicy uh too up for it uh we haven't we've jumped a few times at home since then i haven't actually jumped in a couple of weeks but i just like to try and get him out as much as possible let him see the world see all different jumps see different fillers this is a new venue for him he's never been there i mean he's only been to about four arena hires before in his life so let's go and get him loaded and head on our way just arrived at Wheatlands which is about 20 minutes away from ours so it's the first time Errol has ever been here isn't it Errol but he's pretty calm we've just taken him out the trailer we're going to get them tacked up head on into the arena we've hired it for an hour so we've got quite a long time a bit more time than Wellington which is nice we don't have to rush as much but let's get him tacked up and get on careful don't knock my camera though because you're annoying Safety first on the four-year-old. <laughs> We've just put all the jumps down um, just so that Errol can sort of jump all the fillers when they're not that big with all the fillers sort of to the side. So you have to go in the middle. So just giving them a little walk round and then we'll give them a bit of a warm up, uh, walk trot and a canter before we start popping some jumps. But Errol's feeling very relaxed actually because it's quite some of these fillers are quite spooky but it really doesn't seem to be phased so let's hope that continues hey guys so i thought i would do a voiceover of my jumping with errol so as you can see he decided he didn't like the blue barrels outside of the arena to begin with but we do swiftly move on and this is all part of coming out to arena high so he gets to see lots of different places lots of different fillers lots of different objects as he is only for turning five this year. So we came in and we started by having a walk, trot and a canter. And for me with Errol, because he is so young, it's just all about getting him used to new places. I'm having a trot in between all of the fences, getting him used to the fillers before we start jumping. So he did after not liking the blue barrels outside the arena to begin with. He then was absolutely fine, warmed up, really nicely wasn't hugely phased by any of the fillers which was really nice to see and he really did feel a lot more grown up even just warming up so once we have a warm-up we then start jumping a couple of warm-up fences. So I decided today I've put all of my footage with Errol to begin with so I can talk you through it and then all of Izzy and Tiny's footage after because I was teaching her. So we're just warming up over two uprights and actually he came out and he just jumped them like he'd been, you know, jumping all his life and... Yeah, got in a little bit close there, but I was really, really pleased actually with how he came out and warmed up. Then I basically started 
just jumping lots of different fences we kept the height quite small just so he could get used to all of the fillers they are all quite spooky fillers so i'd moved them out to the side and as you can see he actually wants to can to everything i've been trotting him into most things especially scary fillers because he has been having a look but today he just came out so much braver and wasn't really looking at looking at any of the fillers which was so nice to see I say that until I come to these blue barrels and he didn't really notice them until he was up and over the fence. But again, better because he jumped it and just sort of looked at it as he was taking off before he wasn't really spooky, but he is young and he was just sort of having a look at the fillers and he would trot really slowly. So we had to keep everything really small. So I was really, really pleased with how he came out. I'm just coming to these barrels again and then he did jump them much better this peacock fence and again this was a really spooky filler you can't really see from that angle but he just popped it wasn't phased at all so then we started jumping of course i think this was the first time jumping the full course and it is a little bit messy i'm not gonna lie he was having a little he didn't like touching that pole there um yeah it was a little bit messy we had a few fences down however he felt really keen which was really nice to see he wanted to get to the fence he wanted to jump the fence which is the main thing and he just felt so bold i think before not that he wasn't bold but like i say he was having a little look at all the fillers and he was just it felt like he was really really enjoying his jumping so it was a little bit all over the place but he just felt so much more grown up and he jumps that really really nicely then i'm coming to the last fence and again you can just see how keen and how bold he is yeah lovely so I'm then going to jump the whole course again. He decided to have a little trot. Didn't really want to get to that fence, but he's got to learn to keep going. So I just put my leg on and he was more than happy to go. And I felt like this round was much better than the first. Don't get me wrong, there's still a lot to work on. He is only four, but he was. we were much more in a rhythm until we got to this and he actually made up way too much distance hit the pole and then really doesn't like touching a fence which is good which is why he shot off but i felt like this round we were a lot more together and we just felt a little bit more like a partnership it's all about now just getting him out getting the experience and you know jumping more fences and jumping out of cans we've been doing a lot of cat uh, jumping out of trot and it is very different um and he's just got to learn to get his balance yeah, nice. we jump through this double and he jumps that really really nicely so i was really pleased with him okay so i've just finished jumping on arrow we've just popped them up for izzy she's going to jump around again but he was just i'll do a full debrief when we finish but he was just an absolute superstar weren't you errol literally he's turned into like a proper horse today he really just took it on he was really listening to me he did get a little bit keen um but yeah he was just absolutely amazing i'll do a full debrief once he's jumped nice really just think about while you're warming up straightness yeah yeah and straight on landing remember that's it right leg sit and wait and right leg yeah yeah that's fine Right leg, right leg, right leg, right leg. Yeah. Good, that's okay. Now think about your turns, it's quite tight here. Outside leg. That's all right, just think about getting a little bit more canter so then you can sit, even though it's tight, then sit and let him figure it out. So look where you're going, outside leg, keep the canter, soft hands, and let him sort it out. Stop fiddling. Keep the hands soft, just look up. Count, two, one. 
Good. Now outside leg to this turn. Two, one. Yeah, that's fine. Good. And don't worry for a minute. I just want you to concentrate on keeping the canter outside leg. If he has one down for a minute, don't worry. Don't chase, don't chase, don't chase. Good. Go on and get your canter a little bit more. That's it. Little half hole there. You're coming to the plank. Supposed to be coming to the... It's all right. You can do it a different way. <laughs> Better. And outside leg, outside leg, outside leg. Yeah, good. Just keep coming now. You've, you've got it. Soft hands now. About straight and you're up body. Sit tall and count to yourself. Yeah, fine. Now outside leg, soft hands and keep counting. One, two, three, one, two. Fine, now sit up, yeah, and give him a kick, that's it. Relax the hand, relax the hand, relax the hand. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. Yeah, good, but then he's careful, that's it. Then when you don't chase him again. One, two, three, one, two, yes. Better. That's it. And just count slow with your body. One, two, three, one. Yeah, lovely. There you go. There, keep the hands soft now. Shoulders back, outside leg. One, two, three, one. Good. Sit up around there. Yeah, that's it. Good. We're just walking, oh, be careful, Errol. Just walking back um, after our arena hire, and Errol was an absolute superstar, weren't you, Errol? We did jump a few very large, and he definitely doesn't like touching them. So when he knocked a couple, he did sort of kick out in the air and then like run off afterwards. Um, but he just felt so grown up today he really feels like he's taken a massive step forward from the last time i brought him out and i haven't been out with him for like four months and haven't done loads and loads of jumping at home because of the cold weather and the hard ground and everything and he just felt so much more grown up today wasn't phased by any of the fillers jumped everything first time we had them up a little bit bigger than we've had before um like straight away and then put them up bigger after and we actually cantered a whole course you know it's still we've got a lot of work to do um he then gets was getting very keen and we then need to i need to now slow him down a bit but that's kind of come out of nowhere a little bit um that's guess what you get when they are young so I definitely need to get to some nick lessons but he was just an absolute superstar so I'm very proud and we're going to get him untacked and sorted and then we'll ask Izzy come on how her round was You definitely deserve that, don't you? Oh, he looks knackered. <laughs> yeah. He actually didn't feel knackered. I think he could have kept going. You can also have a carrot arrow here, look. <laughs> Good lad. Okay, boys are all loaded up, so we're gonna head home and get them sorted. Okay, Izzy, tell us how you thought it went with Tiny. Yeah, it was very good. I don't really know how much to say. <laughs> Jumping around the course. You were pleased with him? Yes, very pleased. Um, I need to not fiddle. I've got into a bit of a bad habit, so I'm yeah. out of that habit. But yeah, no, he was really good. Jumped very nicely, yeah. ready for 
Arena eventing at the weekend. On Saturday, yeah, yeah. we're gonna film that. But we are going to Arena eventing on Saturday. We're taking Max and Kato and Tiny to GW Equine. There will be a vlog for that, which actually I think may come out before this. Tiny was really, really good, I thought. Um, at the beginning, I had sort of said to Izzy about not drifting, because Tiny drifts to the right. Uh, and then she kind of got just into a bit of a bad habit about, um, and she was fiddling, and he's a bit like Zeb. As soon as you fiddle, just jumps a bit flat and doesn't pick his back legs up. But I thought by the end, it was really good. So we were really, really pleased with both of them. We've just dropped Errol off now, and we're just dropping Tiny off, and I've got to bring in all of the liveries and uh, lunge one of them. The gate is open, so I don't even have to get out to the gate. Bonus. Um, so yeah, no, we were really, really pleased with both boys and yeah, very good session. Okay, guys, so I am going to admit I forgot to film an outro. That does seem to be a theme at the minute, but I will just say all of my vlogs going forward, I think I have filmed outros on the day, um, but I am here with Errol. He's just having some food, so he's not actually com that interested in me. But I was super, super pleased with him at the arena hire. First time back out in about four months, I think. And he just, he felt so grown up. He was so bold. He wasn't phased by any of the fillers and he just felt, yeah, he felt so grown up. And I think the time off had really done him the world of good. So I was really, really proud of him. Um, you know, we've got a lot of fine tuning to do. He is only four turning five this year but overall I was so proud of him um, I'm now filming this a couple of weeks later and we have actually had a lesson with Nick which we also vlogged and I can't wait for you guys to see that I feel like he's even taken another step forward so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of vlog let me know if you do thank you as always for all of your support and we will see you for the next one